is a first for NASA. The idea is for this jet to go faster than the speed of sound without a sonic boom. Joining us now is aerospace engineer and test pilot of X-59, James Clueless. Good morning, sir. Thanks for coming on the show. Good morning, Zach. Hey, so before we get into X-59 and, and hearing the latest about that, I want to ask you, I'm curious to know, how did you get involved with becoming an aerospace engineer? Well, I went to college to study aeronautical engineering. I, I thought I was going to be an engineer, but then I got into the uh, U.S. Air Force ROTC program and became a pilot instead. Um, along the way during my Air Force career, I went through the Air Force Test Pilot School, combining both my engineering background with being a pilot. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. A very rewarding career. Uh, one I'm sure you're encouraging uh, you know, young men and women to, to pursue themselves. Oh, absolutely. This is a, a great time to be in aviation. There's a huge need for pilots and definitely a need for test pilots if you if you want to study engineering along with being a pilot. Yeah, the need is certainly there. Okay, let's go back to X-59. When was the ban on commercial aircraft flying supersonic put into place and, and why? It was over 50 years ago, 1973, I think April was the month, and there was a lot of uh, supersonic flights over the, the continental U.S. at the time. Uh, it was all military flights, uh, and people were, were very disturbed by the, uh, the sonic booms. A sonic boom can be very loud and sharp, and it certainly will startle you, rattle your windows, wake your sleeping baby, Set your dog to, <laughs> to barking. Right? Not anything we want. Uh, with that said, what is the secret to the X-59 that will soften that sonic boom to, to a sonic thump? So the, the secret is in the shape, primarily. And the, the long, st long story short is uh, a long and skinny aircraft. The X-59 will be 100 feet long, and it's only got about a 30-foot wingspan. The nose makes up... 38 feet of that length. Oh, wow. For, for those of us who remember, I, I believe it was Concorde, correct? Was it the Concorde yes. aircraft? Can you compare it to that? I, I know the reveal hasn't happened yet. Uh, is it similar to that shape, that, that look? There's some similarities, but uh, you'll notice with the X-59 that it definitely looks longer and skinnier. Okay. Okay. Uh, when, when we're talking about the X-59, what are uh, the two goals of this Quest mission? So the first goal is to show that we can build a quiet supersonic aircraft, which has never been done. Mm -hmm. And then once we've done that, we're going to fly it around the country over certain population centers and find out what people think, see what their response is to this quiet thump as opposed to a sonic boom. Will people have the opportunity to board that first flight? They're virtually, they can board that <laughs> first flight. Um, we, we have a boarding pass. You can go to nasa.gov and, and look that up. You can get your name on a list that will actually travel on the first flight of the X-59. That's a lot of fun. I like that a lot. Um, how can we watch the X-59's rollout live? Okay, so there are a number of ways. You can start by going to our website, nasa.gov, and you will see some links. There is uh, the NASA Plus streaming service. Um, if you have NASA TV, it will be on there. Um, you can go to YouTube, at NASA, and uh, all these ways you can participate in the, uh, the rollout ceremony, which is tomorrow on Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Yeah, this is really exciting, uh, really incredible news. We're looking forward to it. We thank you so much, James Les with NASA, for joining us this morning. You're welcome.